The purpose of this video is to show you how to obtain the subcostal views. We will first describe how to obtain the views and will then provide some tips to optimize the views. To obtain the subcostal view, you will position the patient supine. And to facilitate your movement, you should hold the probe from above as if you were holding a screwdriver. You can be standing on each side of the bed, but make sure that the machine is positioned in a way that you can access it to be able to change the settings or do some measurements. Also, ensure that you are in a comfortable position with the screen facing you. Start from the subxiphoid process, from the right side of the abdomen to use the liver as an acoustic window. If the patient can cooperate, you may ask the patient to bend her or his knees. For the subcostal forechamber, the marker should be oriented towards the patient's left at roughly 2 o'clock. The probe itself should be almost flat on the patient and try to get the footprint closer to the subxiphoid process. If the aortic valve is seen, it means that you are looking too anteriorly. To correct this, you will have to lift the tail up to look more posteriorly. This may not be sufficient, and you may have to also rotate slightly counterclockwise. To bring the apex more in the middle, bring the tail towards the right of the patient. To bring the right atrium in the middle, bring the tail in towards the left of the patient. To obtain the inferior vena cava from the subcostal four-chamber view, Bring first the right atrium in the middle and then rotate counterclockwise, keeping the right atrium in the center. You should aim to rotate between 60 and 90 degrees. The marker should be looking towards the patient's head. Fine rotational movement should be applied to make sure that the long axis of the inferior vena cava is imaged. The optimal view of the IVC should allow you to visualize the IVC RA junction, the liver on both sides, the hepatic vein draining in the IVC, and the IVC should be open as far as possible into the liver. Sometimes a slight tilting in either direction may also help. You should be able to see the, R the IVC RA junction and the hepatic vein. If you cannot see the IVC RA junction, try to slide cephalad on the abdomen or rock the probe cephalad. If when rotating, you image the descending aorta, just tilt the footprint towards the patient's right, which should enable you to get the IVC. You can also obtain the IVC view starting from the short axis of the IVC by placing the probe directly flat on the patient's abdomen with the marker directed to the left at three o'clock. You can rotate on the axis of the IVC counterclockwise to obtain the long axis of the IVC with the marker ultimately positioned upwards. Make sure that you are not imaging the sesopatic vein that can have an insertion in the IVC very close to the IVC RA junction. They can be recognized as they are more oblique than the IVC, go into one of the lobes of the liver, and also have multiple ramifications. To obtain the descending aorta view, from the IVC view, just tilt the footprint towards the left of the patient or slide slightly to the patient's left. You may have to adjust your rotation to open up your aorta. By tilting the footprint towards the patient's left and rocking looking cephalad, you should be able to obtain the short axis of the left ventricle. By tilting the footprint even more to the patient's left, you will see the short axis at the apex level. If then you tilt the footprint towards the patient's right, you will get the short axis at the mid papillary level, then the mitral valve level, And finally, the right ventricular inflow outflow. You may have to rock the probe cephalad to obtain a good visualization of the structures.
For patients who underwent laparotomy, the subcostal view may be inaccessible, and you may want to try to obtain the IVC view from the lateral side. Use the liver as a landmark. The marker should be aiming cephalad. You may have to change rotation to be able to image the long axis. This concludes our video on how to obtain subcostal views. Remember to only do one motion at a time and very small movements as it significantly changes the plane scanned.